Uh, hi everyone. Uh, recently, I got some feedback from YouTube channel. So today, I will uh, show you how to find out the Delta POC mobile address uh, from a uh, user manual. So here, I will list down the POC series. Uh, so basically, we have the H, S, and the DBP. So uh, H POC basically, uh, you need to go to uh, Delta Electronics official website and find the operation. Uh, manual so uh, please remember to find the H500 hardware and the operation manual then I'll come to uh, S as uh, we will have uh, S300 200 100 and uh, 500 for 500 this one is for the uh, motion uh, controller so you uh, can find the AX uh, 500e or 500c uh, series of uh, means uh, either can and uh, can open so this one you just find the operation manual, then you can find the mobile address and for a rest of the AS series you can find the AS uh, hardware and the operation manual. Then move to uh, DBP series. Uh, DBP we have the ES3 series and this one uh, because it's uh, similar use the same uh, CPU as the uh, AS series. So uh, you just find the hardware and the operation manual. For uh, second generation as uh, DBP POC, then you can see this is the second generation models. Then we will refer to the operation manual. And if you use the SP2 EH3, then we will uh, use another application manual for programming. So uh, this one will refer to different uh, user manual. The last one is uh, for DBP MC series. So DBP MC series, again, you just find out the motion controller operation manual. Okay, then I will show you, uh, you just go to the uh, Delta Electronics or Visual website and go to the service support and click download center. So after that, you can select the Industrial Automation POC AH series, AS series or DBP series. Then I'll uh, find the operation or manual. Then you just uh, find this one, AH hardware and operation manual for H, uh, AS, and uh, ES3. Okay, so AS, we also use the hardware and operation. Okay, then ES, hardware and uh, operation. And uh, if you download, then you can go to the appendix. So let's uh, move back. So H500 uh, series, you can refer the appendix B.1. Then you will see the mobile address uh, for different devices. Uh, move to uh, AS300, 200, 100, and uh, ES3. Also uh, revert to appendix B1. So basically you can see the M0, D0, that will also start from the address of 0, okay, in hexadecimal. Okay, here, hexadecimal. And then if you use the DBPMC series or AS500 series, you will refer to Appendix A or uh, Doc6. So you will see this is the input, output, and the uh, word uh, register. The last one is uh, for SB2 and the uh, EH3 series. And this one is uh, for the standard uh, second generation POC, DBP or POC. So this one will refer to the different chapter. For SB2 EH3, you can refer uh, chapter 2.12. And then for rest of the DBP uh, second generation POC, you can refer chapter 4.4. Then this is the uh, comparison of uh, Delta uh, different series of POC. So you can see uh, mainly for H or S and even for the MC or AS500. Uh, M0, D0 is actually from the same address, but uh, for DBP, MC, and AX, uh, because the naming rule is uh, different. So I'll just remind you about this, but for the mobile address, hexadecimal address is actually the same. The only difference is uh, for DBP, especially like uh, D0, the uh, rest of uh, Delta POC will be zero, but uh, DBP will be start from uh, 1000. Uh, so that's all for uh, today's uh, topic. Thank you.